Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It's Kiara here and today we are going to be going over my um, favorite romance mods. I am a mod lover, you know this. So these are some of like my must-have romance mods that give the game more realism and it's just like little things again to make the game feel more realistic. So today we're playing with my sim self and that's what we're gonna do so the first few mods we're gonna go over are dating apps because obviously that's where you kind of meet your sims so there are two dating apps the first one we're gonna go over is the simda dating app by little miss sam and on here it gives you a menu and you can choose a specific date you could choose a blind date you could choose a female blind date a male blind date if you choose blind date it'll choose for you and then you can do one night stands and you can do hookup calls and hookup calls you'll get random calls and you're like hey do you want to woo <laughs> so we're gonna choose specific date because if you saw some stuff was a little loved up okay if you saw a little intro she loved up her little boo so we're gonna scroll through the menu you can pick any of these sims it pops up i don't think i think every sim that's in the world um so you just scroll until you find the sim you're looking for and we're looking oops i scrolled too far <laughs> where'd he at where'd he at where her man no oh i'm like where her man <laughs> so then it brings you to the world menu and you can pick where you want to go on a date just like if you were to ask your sim to go on a date so we're gonna go to this restaurant and i will see you when we get there okay so we've made it to the restaurant and just like any other um date you do have like the task here and so our main task is obviously to socialize with our date so let's go ahead and request a table because you know how you know how the game goes with dine out oh my goodness where are they going oh there she is i was like oh they're all going oh look at himself looking super cute um what is this lady doing okay my game was a bit loud so i tried to turn it down Okay, here she goes. She's going to her table. Where's your table? Okay, so we're gonna... Okay, so our table is here in the booth. I am gonna control him really quick because the game be annoying. So our main goal is to socialize with our date. So obviously it's what we're gonna do. So just pop up the menu and go into romance. Now we're just gonna socialize. So compliment appearance, exchange numbers. It's pretty simple. It just goes about the same like the same things that you have like on a regular date. But overall, it's just a little bit more convenient because you get to meet new people on these apps and stuff like that. So. Yeah, let's just go about going on the app and everything like that. Just little things like that. So that's the Simda dating app. It's pretty simple. Obviously, it just gets you, pops up the menu. You can pick different dates. The blind, date, the blind dates are pretty cool because you can literally get any sim. And so it's just, you can literally get any sim. So it's really cool. Um, and that's why I love like app like you can choose any sim you want to go on a date with and i just think overall it's really cool okay so the next mod we're gonna talk about is the mm, <laughs> not <even> calling us <laughs> i can't think anvil go is pretty cute should i ask her out um sir no because what no but what what do, what do they think this is <laughs> So the next app we're gonna talk about is the Meet and Mingle dating app. This mo this Meet and Mingle dating app comes with the um, realistic relationship and pregnancy overhaul um, by Lumpano. And you can 
set up your profile if you'd like. So when you set up your profile, you can say what kind of goals you have to specify. Right? You can specify your relationship goals. Like you're like, oh, I'm looking for a serious relationship, short fling. I'm looking for a good time, kind of like hookups. I'm only looking for platonic connections, which is cool. So we'll do that one. Platonic connections, which is cool. And you can specify your turn ons and turn offs. You can write custom tagline for your profile. Because custom profile tagline is to like a uh, custom profile section created. Now loading editor, we hope you're ready to compose. So that brings up this menu and you can type in whatever you want. So let's say looking for, let's say new to the city, new to the city, looking for friends. Sorry, you guys, my relay is the R keys. So it just pops up. So yeah, I'm saying new to the city, looking for friends. And I think that'd be cool. Um, we could put profile information. So let's say 21 year old female looking for 21 year old female student at bright chester and that's really it so and you know just it just makes it personal you know what i mean and you can set your profile visibility you can see you can preview your profile and when you preview it it just has a whole bunch of things on here so it'll have your education your career right now she doesn't have a job so we're not worried about that um it says person it shows the personality types um it says your family like if you have kids you're married and all that um your relationship type says i've never been in a long-term relationship that tells you because she's never been one technically her and spencer aren't together um relationship history i've never been in a long-term relationship turn-ons we didn't put that um and this is like also some like turn-ons that they like generated from things so it says black salt pepper hair heavy body weight and average body weight that's not a turn-on but that's something that we have on here um just different things it just randomizes it for you it says turn off some goals to cult we don't want any ghost cult <laughs> relationship preferences goals i have i prefer non-exclusive relationships which that is also another mod by lumpano that we will go over pretty soon and it says i am looking for platonic connections and that's what we're doing so return to profile information you can set the visibility of your profile and it can be visible so we're going to make it visible and we're going to say two and that's it so that's the meet and mingle like specifying information different things so you can auto match with a blind date auto match like a fully blind date semi-blind date meaning i think you can pick, so let's say, auto match with a semi blind date. <laughs> Look at her being all blushing. She's hilarious. This dress is so good. This dress is like so cute. She needs to shave. Okay. Okay. So it says, Hi, apparently we're a match on the Inmingle app. Want to meet up somewhere? So let's say, Yeah, let's meet her up somewhere. And. I think that's what they mean by a semi-blind date because they pop up a menu and you can pick if you want to meet them or not. Now, if it's a fully blind date, you just it just pops up a person and you go somewhere like in the um, manage world menu. So since we're meeting up with someone, let's say let's go to let's go to the karaoke um, lounge. So as you can see, you meet up with your whoever your date is as far as we know it's a friend and so on this one there's not really any specific um dating goals it says meet and mingle dates all right let me put my glasses on so meet and mingle dates are rather in informal so you take the date where you wanted to go get to know each other without jumping to romance jump to romance without getting to know each other or anything in between but but be your best self and good luck so unlike the sim to dating where you have those goals here 
with the meet and mingle you don't really you're just you know it's just a casual hangout and if you want it to be romantic you can have it be romantic so let's talk to her just really quick you know we, we did say we want to meet some friends but we're not having a flirty introduction that's just that's a little too forward we said platonic but yeah that's the meet and mingle dating app i like both um both dating apps the meet and mingle one obviously it can be a little bit more specific and a little bit more realistic because you get to set up your dating profile and everything which i think is really cool um but yeah that is the dating apps category okay you guys so some of the next mods we're gonna go over I, i'm gonna put in like the relationship building category so the first mod we're gonna talk about is also another mod by limpino it's a um it's the open love life mod so your sims can define the relationship type they want to be in if they want to be in an exclusive relationship if they want to be in a non-exclusive relationship and if they want to see other people if they want to have a polyamorous relationship just like things like that so the way you pop that up is you one you can ask so it says relationship type so you can ask about um ask opinion about exclusivity and you can ask like your partner and stuff about that and obviously she's asking and you'll get um a pop-up over here in your in your menu and so it says i much prefer exclusive relationships that's his relationship type and he can ask her the same thing so let's say he asked her the same thing so he asked her let's see let's go to romance again relationship type and ask opinion on exclusivity I have no idea what well, we're going in the building. Why is there a cutting board down here? Not all. And he's going to ask her. And not the stinky plate. What the frick? Not hold on. not the stinky plate ruining the vibes. Yeah, he's asking her, and she says she tends to prefer non-exclusive relationships, which is surprising because this is himself and I don't, but we're just going to go with it. Um, and so, yeah, you can ask those things. And with that, and since now they're in a relationship, like officially, you can um, relationship type again. You can ask about having a side partner. She can ask this because, again, she doesn't prefer non-exclusive relationships. She can ask to be in a multi-exclusive relationship because, again, she doesn't prefer a non-exclusive relationship. Uh, and then he, this says ask to have a non-exclusive relationship. She can say, hey, I don't really feel like I want to be tied down, so can we have a non-exclusive relationship and then i think the same thing for him he can ask her but it'll be like the opposite because he prefers exclusive relationships so it'll pop up and it will be same thing you can ask the same questions but again so it's just different things you can ask to ask to have a side partner and it could be any of these people that you know and they can be like your side piece or whatever <laughs> so yeah that's the open love life mod by lumpano um it does pop up as a reward trait or in your symbology panel so his says prefers exclusive romantic relationships sims who want to be romantically exclusive deal deal badly with polyamory open relationships and all the sorts then they need stability and strong communi communicate uh, strong commitments in other words full exclusivity jealousy may easily catch up with them they dream find a faint they dream of finding their one true love and because jealousy tends to catch up with them your that you can choose to um have your sim not become jealous if that's something you want like if they're not the jealous type but they want their relationship to still be exclusive so the prefers non-exclusive relationships as sims who want who prefer non-exclusive relationships are happier with non-exclusive relationships and friends with benefits arrangements some of them are simply non-committal some of them some of them are simply non-committal are not simply capable of commitment to several sims at once 
and some of them just enjoy freedom or excitement of unconventional relationships brain those are just the little things again these add realism and i just love it so much so the next mod we're gonna go over is the love language mod it is a new mod by sasha space um sasha is a creator here on youtube has many let's plays and all that and she decided to come out with a mod which is super cool like it's a really good mod so to preface it your sim we have five love languages so you you can choose your sims love language in the reward store and right now we're on spencer so he has the words of affirmation one because i have chose i chose it already but you can also choose more than one but he has words of affirmation and as you can see here it um Oh, here it is. So, all of that, it'll pop up in the once, like in your once and fears. It's in a part of the once and fear system. So, here it has deep conversation. He wants to have a deep conversation with his significant other or deep conversation with just anyone, and it will fulfill his um, words of affirmation. So, we'll click on Kira here and we will go to friendly and have a deep conversation because where'd he go here he is and we'll have a deep conversation and it sh will and it should see there it goes and it finishes his one here so then let's check on kira and see what her um love languages her love language here is quality time so what it says this trait is for sims who have quality time and time with their time is their love language so as you can see on hers okay so she doesn't have any so i'm gonna re-roll her wants really quick just so that to see if she gets one okay so yeah here we go so it pops up here i hope you're online girl no hate freaking apartments okay so it pops up here you'll know sasha's difference from the other ones because they're colored and in parentheses it will have whatever um whatever love language that they prefer so it says i hope you're online so we can chat from being a quality time set i just want to spend time with you even if you're not physically here so we're gonna go on her computer and chat with them so let's ima let's imagine like she's talking to a friend or something and so she'll come on her computer and it oh it says chat with okay hold on that just says chat so we need to click on chat with socialize and then that's just regular chat is she, oh there it is chat with lila jensen because lila's her friend and then because lila's her friend it instantly does it so you don't have to complete the aspiration but it just instantly does it and so here she has another one and it says be friendly with um spencer again quality time you're talking to your significant other or you're hanging out with them and it's just things like that so let's have her come chat with him really quick be friendly and it's just like the small things that just make the game more realistic and i love it so yeah that is the love language mod it's a pretty good it's a pretty simple mod but it makes the world of difference with realism and gameplay because we as humans have love languages and we show our love differently depending on the person so those are just things that happen so yeah and her being friendly with them that finished that too even though the aspiration points are like like a smaller amount these things add up and you can get like a bunch of aspiration points so yeah that's the love language mod it's really cute really simple but adds just a nice touch of realism to the game for this next mod we're gonna be at the park it this is the passionate romance mod um i don't remember the creator but i will obviously put it on the screen for you guys so with the passionate romance mod your sims have more interactions um lord <laughs> they have more interactions it is in the 
it's its own it has its own um menu so here it is the passionate romance mod and it just adds a bunch of different cute interactions so let's talk about let's try the walk and holding hands mm, walk while holding hands normally so it just adds little cute things your sims technically can't go on walks and holding hands look how cute this is like it's super cute oh look look at them being like really cute and it's like it's in beta testing so it's not like the smoothest animation but it's still cute if you will so i just i like that it's like it's like super cute it may not be like the smoothest animation but again it adds realism and i love that and it's just super cute you can choose for them to move fast you can choose for them to move slow and it's just cute because they're well, they're holding hands um this mod also i can't remember if it's this mod or the road to romance mod but they will get a skill, a romance skill. And the romance skill is 10 levels. And it says working on romance skill gives Sims a chance to become better partners and improve their relationship and gain romance skill by using romantic interactions and reaching and researching on the computer. So yeah, it's just little things like that. Um so we'll click on here here again and go back to the menu. And in the menu, there's more in our, there's more things. So it's like different kisses, different hugs, different things like that. So let's say romantic hug. And it's just like little cute things. And I just, I love it. It adds, why is he walking so far away? Where is he going? Oh my God. Not the game. <laughs> the game and its bugs because it's crazy because i literally just used this animation like that is crazy like what the game and its bugs because oh, homie come over here and give her a hug <laughs> but again it just adds different cute little romance things and i love it for them um let's try that again where do you go? I think he, here he is. Okay, so it's still working weird because it literally was working when she was in her apartment. So if I go back to her apartment, I'll show you guys that animation because it's super cute. I don't know why it's not working right now. It's calling you, okay, the landlord. Sir, we'll pay our rent when we pay it. Anyway, um it's just like the cute things so then we'll click on spencer and we'll go back to the passionate romance menu oh my god i swear the game so back at the passionate romance menu there obviously are different things we can take um or snuggle romantic selfie so let's try the snuggle the little cute little snuggle animation and then there's these romantic selfies when i tell you the romantic selfies are the cutest thing they're just so cute and you get little buffs um this one says feeling the love from being passionate okay so this little cute snuggle animation is super cute girl if you don't get somewhere so yeah, it's just super cute little thing. Not, oh my God, not these Sims like coming in the shot. Just cute things like that. Um, Another one that is like really cute and we're gonna go over one last thing for this mod are the romantic selfies. When I tell you these romantic selfies are so cute and there are different ones. Like you can take car selfies, these different ones of it and it should pop up like a car but i'm not gonna do that because i don't have the patience to deal with like the mechanics but you can take proposal selfies proposal photos and set sims engaged and that like automatically sets the best engage you can take romantic selfies in a hot air balloon right now we're gonna take just a regular romantic selfie and it'll pop up the camera and you get to keep these photos obviously 
So we're gonna go ahead and cancel out this interaction. And we're gonna take these pictures. Cause when I tell you these pictures are the cutest thing. They're so freaking cute. Look, 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 look at this. Look, look, look at this. Obviously, it it would switch. Like we'd switch the roles. But look at this. These are so cute. Look at his face. Like it's just the cutest thing. And you just click on the pose thing, and it just <sighs> look at them, y'all. Look at them. And they're just the cutest freaking poses. And I love to see it. Like, look. Like, they're just so cute. And then you get ran. And there, there's more poses than that. But they're just so cute. And, like, look at that. And then they get a buff from it, too. And it says, romantic selfie. A passionate moment captured in a photo. This romantic memory will be saved forever. And it's just cute little things like that that I love about these mods. And then, obviously, you get to keep the pictures. So cute. So yeah, we'll head back to the house and get on to the next mod. Okay, guys, so we're back at the apartment. So the next mod we are going to talk about is the More Kisses mod by Maple Bell. It is exactly what it sounds like. It adds more kisses to the game. It adds different kisses because we only have like the mistletoe kiss, the first kiss, and then like I think there's one more, but that's really it. There isn't really um there's there's not really a lot of like um more interactions. So we have hug, surprise, kiss, hesitate, hesitation, and kiss. So it's like, mm, do I want to grab and kiss, frenzied kiss, just different ones. So the first one, let's do the hug and surprise kiss. So it just adds little differences. It's like all oh, a hug, and then obviously it's like then they kiss. And it's just like just super cute. And look at the animations, they're kind of smooth. And I love that. Obviously, he's her face is like shorter than his, so it's not gonna be like accurate, but they're just cute especially for like storytelling because like you'll get different animations you know um let's do another one romance physical more kisses let's do okay let's do the steamy kiss let's see what that one looks like and they just, oh, oh, Jesus, I swear the game. And they're just super cute, like, uh, just super cute little animations. And they're like, oh, let's, and it's just, like, really cute, adds more realism, like I said. Um, and let's do one last one. One last one, more kisses. Let's do the frenzied kiss. Let's see what that looks like. Not him pulling out the bottle. <laughs> look at look at her. Look at them. Look. So it's like if they're at a party, just cute little thing. I don't think I've ever used this kiss animation. It's just like look at them. <laughs> it's just super cute. <laughs> Oh my god. And it's crazy because I think this is the drunk animation kiss, not the frenzied kiss. This is the drunken kiss. They did this one on their own. Like, they did that on their own. I didn't choose that. And I think the drunken kiss comes from um, More Kisses by Utopia. So this is a different kiss. I chose the frenzied kiss and they did this one on their own. They're like, mm, we can freaky so yeah that just adds different oh look it says a bit juiced a few swings of that drink have spencer feeling heated i bet it did look at him <laughs> eating her face <laughs> um so yeah it has like a bunch of buffs like look at this like just a bunch of good buffs and i love that for them like this one says hot and heavy from socialization great kisser from getting a drunk kiss surprisingly that was a great kiss like 
since they're getting a little hot and heavy the next one we're gonna talk about is wicked whims so wicked whims um is not just for like the wicked part of it it's not just for like the woohoo aspect of it i use wicked whims for animations for like they have cute little romance animations they have different things so um some of the first ones we're going to talk about is you probably seen them in the menu when i go under romance um let me go under romance and they pop up under physical intimacy says passionate groping but making long kiss so let's do the passionate groping and these come with the patreon version of wicked whims these like extra interactions and they're just cute and they're just cute little things like look at them look, look at them like what is she like look at them <laughs> like it like it just adds extra inner it just adds extraness and since they're already feeling frenzy and hot and heavy and look it says passionate romance butterflies in the sky spencer reed feels just as high after a sizzling moment spent with carefully spent spencer has a full heart in his head in the clouds and he will and he will be daydreaming about Kira's electrifying touch for a while isn't like it's just it just adds so much and i think he also gets a buff from that yeah it does looking good from person new style that's new partner oh here it is here's the buff it says felt the spark from experiencing a passionate moment so it's just cute little things and they're just different things so that comes with the wicked whims version of the no, sorry the patreon version of wicked whims and that's the um some of those interactions that you don't have to go into the wicked wicked whims menu for so for this we are going to go into the wicked whims menu and obviously there are different animations and we are going to go through the menu and we're going to choose one of my favorite ones it's just regular it's not mm, it's not something to um extra or anything but you just have to do is click on the object that you want them to be on or be near um a lot of the times they'll automatically spawn to it but for this they're not gonna automatically spawn they're gonna um walk towards the sex location um if you want more in-depth tutorial on wicked whims i highly suggest um i highly suggest um Ashley plays this video. Why did it change her hair? Why did it change her hair? That's annoying. But the animations are like super cute. If you just, um, it's just little animations like this, and they're just really cute. Adds like a little bit of realism and things like that. Ignore her hairy ass legs, <laughs> but it's just cute stuff like this and that's why i like wicked whims um wicked whims also has an attractiveness system and that attractiveness system um for real why has her hair changed that's annoying as hell <laughs> it's crazy they're like super flirty i've never had sims this flirty um so yeah the wicked whims also adds an attractiveness system so you can develop preferences so let's click on kira here and if you go through the menu it says attractiveness with a little heart magnet and you can develop your preferences based on a sim you can change her preferences so let's say we'll choose her preferences let's because you can develop based on sims you're with and you can just click on any sim and it'll develop the preference automatically or you can choose them so fundamentally attractiveness traits so let's see you prefer you prefer a male sense and it's just like a whole thing like of picking different things appearances masculine appearance obviously occult preferences preferred age things like that um hair traits same thing like oh do you like preferred hair color you can choose whatever hair color you want this you can also do and create a sim so i will show you where don't we prefer dark hair let's say 
um just thing just like little things that you can click on and choose it says hair type you can do straight wavy curly it's whatever it doesn't honestly matter um for facial hair we prefer facial hair just some, you know some cute little facial hair clean shaven facial hair things like that um and then same thing you can choose a body attractiveness type you can choose body weight and it's just really pretty really cool things you can choose like if your sim likes for your sims to have a butt things like that um and i just love it let me go into cast really quick just to show you that you can choose things things in cast with likes and dislikes as well so and then with likes and dislikes it's down here you can choose attractiveness body shape things like that you can choose these and like oh not an average size but things like that um attractiveness details of your sim like circles of your sim like glasses of your sims like jewelry body hair piercings tattoos um eye color all of these things obviously it's more in depth if you do it with the attractiveness system because they have like a lot more options than here in cast but that's just how that works so guys the next mod we're going to be talking about is the bump and grind mod by utopia and so it is what it sounds like it's the bump and grind mod your sims is getting bump and grind right on the dance floor so to access this you just click on the dance floor or the dj station and it says bump and grind with and you can just bump and grind it does it can happen autonomously because sims be going crazy but look look at them they, they, they just you know they decide they want to go out and these are just some of the things that can happen and it's a really simple mod but it's kind of cute because like again your sims is just out here grinding and yiking on each other um there's also the kiss and grind mod which is um also by utopia and so your sims can um do a sensual grind and it's just like again little different animations that add realism you know but look at them it's funny like they just be little funny things that's really cool here's another mod by utopia this one is the passionate gifts mod and it just adds more realism when giving gifts to your romantic partner so it pop pops up a menu where you can give gifts to your partner so we can do flowers and chocolate you do a gold bracelet love letter a heartfelt a necklace so let's do we can do a few of them just to show you so we're gonna do the first one a flower and a letter and so look he just gives her he gives her a flower bouquet with a letter and they come with a bunch of cute buffs isn't that so cute and look at it isn't it just so cute like she gives him a hug like again realism and then he got a buff from it says lovely gift gift that comes from the heart are the best types of gifts and then she got one that says lovely message it's not the type of gift or the size that matters it's the thoughts that the heart wants went into it and then that also gets like a little thing over here it says kira just received a flower bouquet along with a lovely message all you are is all i ever need to talk about is the bed cuddle mod by missouri yuki and the pancake one and it is exactly what it sounds like it's bed cuddle so they're gonna come in here and go to sleep and which they deserve because it's 2 a.m okay they need to go to sleep okay 2 a.m y'all been out all day going on dates and going to the club they need to go to sleep but it is what it sounds like it's cute look like 
she could be the big spoon, he could be the little spoon, he could be the big spoon, she could be the little spoon. It's just cute. And we love to see it. Again, adds realism and that's what this is all about. Adding realism to the game. That's what mods are about. And I just love them. Like I am a mod lover through and through. You will not see catch me playing this game without mods. And if that makes me like a non-real simmer, then I'm a non-real simmer. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for following me along for my shenanigans and going through my must-have romance mods. Like, I have to have these in-game. They're just too good not to have. Um, and I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys next time. If you, if you have any suggestions for videos, comment. If you like the video, please like it. And I will see you guys later. Bye, everyone.